Okay, so in today's tutorial, we'll be looking at the geometric Brownian motion simulation in R. The GBM is basically a non-negative process which can be thought of as a stochastic model for exponential growth or decay. It is a favorite tool in mathematical finance where it is used extensively to model stock prices. Okay. A stochastic process is set to follow a geometric Brownian motion if it satisfies the following stochastic differential equation. So these two equations basically defines the SD. Um, this specific equation two, that's the proportional return of a stock can be expressed in two components. We have the certain component and we have the uncertain component. The certain component basically shows the expected rate of return that a stock will earn over a short period of time, while the uncertain component shows the random volatility which increases as the period of time also increases. So the time index in this equation is the white noise representing the time dependence. ST is the price of the stock at time T. BT is the standard burning motion or the Werner process. Mu is the drift coefficient, that is the average rate at which a value increases in stochastic process. And the sigma is the volatility coefficient because it characterizes the degree of variability. Because this, uh, this is a stochastic differential equation, we have to find a solution to it. By applying the Ito lemma, right, we get this analytic solution, and this is basically what we're going to use to simulate the GBM. The S0, that is the initial stock value, is greater than zero, right? So here should be zero. Mu is the expected annual rate of return, and sigma is the expected annual volatility. BT is the standard Brownian motion. So basically, we're going to use this to simulate the GBM in R. So let's jump into R. Um, before I proceed, I will urge you to watch my previous tutorial on the simulation of BM in R. That is the burning motion in R. Basically, I'm going to use this concept that we introduced in, in that tutorial. is the same thing that we're going to use in this tutorial. So I will urge you to watch that before you jump into this. Okay, so um, to be able to simulate this, we have to write a function for this. So first of all, I'm going to say see the code see the code for gbm simulation All right so i'm going to call the name the function gbm so function and we need these parameters we need um the sample right that's the number of observed sample the number of observed sample returns that's n we also need the um the initial stock price that's the s knots we also need the drift parameter right that is mu and the volatility parameter is sigma right once we have this we are good to go so um i'm going to first of all get a time horizon which is one time horizon then also the time step right time step use a sequence function zero to t the length should be n plus one so this is a time step and then the change in time dt t divided by n change in time and then we also need the um the bt that's the burning motion right square root square root of t multiplied by we multiply this by the cumulative sum function that's the sequence of independent and identical distributed standard number random variables if you can recall so i'm going to generate random numbers i need n plus one mean of zero standard deviation of one right so we are good to go so once we have this we can now get our st that is stock price so back to the formula s not exponential of this so we have s not multiplied by the exponential function but we need mu minus sigma squared divided by 2 multiply this by the time step then we need the sigma multiplied by bt 
right so display results results of GBM so that's it so I'm gonna run this right so let's call this um, return I'm using RT for return so GBM function right so what do we need um, we need n should be let's say 1000 s not should be let's say 10 we need mu should be let's say 0 0.05 it's a rate right then sigma should be let's say 0 0.15 okay so let's see this all right so yeah we have it stored in our working environment all right so let's plot this results return right type should be i'm gonna connect the series with a line then let me color this as blue um let's say the y lib should be the on the y axis i want to name this simulated um, returns or stock prices right so this should be in string right then x lib this is going to be the time right so let's see this okay oh sorry I think yes should be DT okay so that's why it looks different so yes should have been DT instead of T so let's rerun okay let's run this again okay so now it looks like the burning motion but the difference with as compared to the burning motion here the stock prices the values are positive it can never be negative as compared to the burning motion which we look at in our previous tutorial we're getting negative values here but here you can see that they are all positive right so but the time index is not continuous so let's define it here so um sequence zero to one 1000 plus 1 right so that's our x so now we can plot this oh the length sequence supposed to be length length is n plus 1 that's 1000 plus 1 right zero to one yes then let's see it again okay so now we are good to go all right so now the timing this is not continuous so once we rerun this, we are going to get a different result or a different path of the process. Let's say that. So it changes, right? As we run it over and over, we get different path for the um, GBM. Now, one way to do this is to use um, a package. You can also use a package to basically do the simulation. Um, that's the same, the same doc diff pro package simulation of diff um, diffusion process package right so this package will help you to do the same simulation as this so but before you do this you have to install it if you don't have this package you have to install it using the install dot packages right so simulation diffusion process right 
so because i have this installed i'm going to comment it but you have to run this if you don't have it installed before you load it using the library package or using the library function right okay so we have this let's load this okay so once we load this now we can let me call this return to I'm gonna use GBM right a function right so this so the first one is basically the number of observe sample returns right so the observe sample returns let's say 1000 the X naught this is basically the initial stock value I'm gonna make it 10 then this makes use of theta is the same as mu this package makes um, use of theta instead of mu so the theta is the same as mu so 0 0.05 and sigma as usual 0 0.15 it also has the path as m by here is 1 by default is 1 okay so once we have this let me copy this Right, so plot RT2. Right, so let me run this too. Let me change this to color um, green. So let's see this. So you see this? This also does the same. This package can help you to do the simulation as I've done with this this is, you can write your own function to do the simulation or you can use um, the existing package that is simulation def um, diffusion process package to also get the same um, result okay so this is basically um, how to simulate GBM in our in our next tutorial we'll be looking at how to estimate the parameters and also how to make some prediction um, of GBM using R Thank you for watching and please if you find value in this video don't forget to click on the notification subscribe comment share if you have any